Kaboom! Yes guys, welcome to the channel and today we've got a beautiful ground spam attack army. We've got golems, we've got unicorns, we've got yaks, and we've got super wizards and even a squirrel. Anyway, no, I'm joking about the squirrel. Anyway, we're going to check out some replays in just a moment. Before we do, let's have a quick look at the army composition. So your army's going to be 6 golems and 12 super wizard spells. are going to be 2 rage spells in total, 8 earthquake spells, a free spell, and then a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle Troop's going to be 2 yetis of Valk and Bob the Barbarian. And Siege Machine's either going to be the Flame Flinger or the Log Launcher. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a really quick reminder on this channel, we've got something called a Creator Code. A Creator Code is where you can help support your favourite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do. There's a C emblem in the top right-hand corner corner of the shop. If you click on that, a little box comes up and you just enter your content creator's code. Our code is code moose. Any support would be amazing, guys. Yes. And it does need to be renewed once a week. Anyway, so through the clouds we go. And guys, the first stage of the attack is normally going to be using those earthquake spells to open up the base. Have a quick look at the base and decide where you're going to send your troops in from and then have a look where you want to open up the compartments. So we're going to damage the town hall and open up the compartments to the right. Obviously try and damage as many structures as you can and then over here by the Eagle Artillery, I've decided to send in the troops just above the Eagle Artillery. Then it's funnel time, guys. Golem on the left, couple of Super Wizards. Golem on the right, a couple of Super Wizards. Rest of the Golems in the centre with your heroes. Log Launcher, and then finally the rest of the Super Wizards. Try to protect the Super Wizards because they don't have much health. And I'm a big fan of using the Grand Warden ability nice and early. I think the, the more troops you can protect... With the Grand Warden ability, I think that's better. And obviously at the beginning of the attack as well, there's going to be more defences attacking your troops. So I would say use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. You've got a Rage spell, of course, as well. Try and save that for your troops near the Town Hall so you can take out the Town Hall quickly and it can make them move away from that Poison Cloud uh, as quickly as possible. That Rage spell does help that as well. Log Launcher's still going there. We've taken out the Town Hall. The King's moving through the base. We've got Golems on the left, Golems on the right. We've sent in the Royal Champion as well. Deploying your Royal Champion is very important. Have a look at the battlefield and try to not send her in against enemy heroes or single target Infernos if you haven't got any free spells left. So I'm going to use her ability there and she has done a great job. She's taken out that compartment and now she's moving over towards that other single target Inferno. Of course there's normally skeleton traps there to slow her down but there's some golems helping out as well. So this is looking pretty good and I love sort of easy to use ground spam attacks and I love this one guys it's great the golems the golemites fantastic for distracting defenses you've got loads of super wizards they're really good in sort of a, a backup troop and using the log launcher is great as well you can use the flame flinger on some bases as well uh, but yeah look at that little golemite and the royal champion dream team over there and there's the queen of course with the unicorn and uh, sometimes the queen will make it to the end of the battle with the unicorn and she'll be on full health. And that normally means you're gonna, probably going to get three stars then, guys. So wait, here's the first replay. We do have another replay in just a moment. And guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samoose army. We're at 150. Oh, guys, we've just frozen the gold storage for four stars. Sorry, yes. Four stars achieved. You won't see that anywhere else in Clash of Clans apart from Samoose Gaming, of course. So on to our next replay. And it's another sort of quite a similar base with lots of compartments. What are we going to do here? We're going to do the same again. So first stage of the attack, of course, like we just said, guys, use those earthquake spells to open up the base. Remember, you just need to sort of, you know, touch the edge of the town hall to damage it. So we've taken about a third of the health off the town hall there. We've opened up a couple of compartments as well. And then I'm going to try and open up some more compartments in the center. And then we can attack like the last base by the Eagle Artillery on the up. No, guys, no, we're going to attack from the side. I was just making sure you were paying attention. So now we've just gone for it here. We put a line of golems, line of super wizards. This is, this is the uh, real spam attack here. Log launcher from the side. And we're just going for it. I thought we were going to attack from the Eagle Artillery side. I forgot. But no, sometimes attacking from the side on bases like this is great. And you don't need to always attack from the opposite side. Super minions are out. Clan castle troops are out. Remember to poison them, Zamoose. Moose. No, I've forgotten. I always forget to poison the enemy clan castle troops, guys. I still haven't done it. They're just hovering there, causing low... Oh, no, we've just lost the rule champion as well. And I still have not used that poison spell. What am I doing, guys? Let me know in the video comments. Do you forget to use your poison spell? And, guys, I still haven't used it. It might as, I might as well just throw it away. Uh, what's going on there in the near the town hall... And uh, I do believe 
There's a poison cloud there. That's not nice to see. We've got the king on the right there. The queen is still there in the center of the base with the unicorn. And she's doing a great job. The king as well. We've got the king ability. And we, yeah, we got that poison spell. I don't want to... I won't mention the poison spell again, guys. But just, uh, yeah, let me know in the video comments. Do you ever forget to use your poison spell? Be honest with me, guys. I always forget. Especially with super minions, it's really important. Or if I do remember, I miss them. And they just fly away from it and laugh at me. Go, ha ha, you missed... Uh, so anyway, what's going on here? The Queen's trying to break through that wall segment, uh, and I think it's very important to time your use of the Queen ability. Um, it can be, well, it can be the difference between getting two and three stars. We've got to watch out for that enemy Queen up there. Is it enemy Queen? Yes. So I've used the poison, yeah, finally I've used the poison spell on the enemy Queen, and there we go. This looks like it's going to be a nice comfortable three star attack in just a moment. We need to take out that multi inferno. The King's doing a great job. And guys, let me know what you think in the video comments. Do you like this attack strategy? Are you going to be using it? I've put an army copy link in the video description for you. All you do is click on that and it will import the army into your game. Just like that magic, guys. Yes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And remember, you can use code Moose in-game to help support the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.